One of the most intriguing and mysterious recent developments in the world of astronomy has emerged not from a high-tech observatory or space agency, but from the backyard of an amateur astronomer in North Carolina. While scanning the Orion Nebula, a favorite target for both novice and expert stargazers due to its rich star-forming regions and dramatic visual beauty, this dedicated observer captured something that has sparked both curiosity and debate across online forums and the UFO research community. What appeared on his laptop screen during a standard imaging session was not a star, nebula, or known astronomical phenomenon. It was a massive, cigar-shaped object, unlike anything he had ever seen. Using his Newtonian astrograph telescope, the astronomer was focused on gathering data from Messier 42, the Orion Nebula. As he fine-tuned the telescope to capture clearer images, a large, cylindrical object appeared on the screen of his laptop during a single 30-second exposure. The object seemed out of place, motionless yet completely distinct from the surrounding cosmic features. Taken aback by the sudden appearance, he quickly began a sequence of additional exposures, five in total, each lasting 30 seconds. These follow-up images revealed even more peculiarities. At the bottom of the frames, several additional cigar-shaped objects appeared to be moving indicating that this sighting was more than just a one-time anomaly. What makes this event particularly mysterious is not only the object's shape and sudden emergence, but also its similarity to reports of cigar-shaped unidentified flying objects seen within Earth's atmosphere. For decades, UFO sightings around the globe have included descriptions of long, cylindrical crafts, some reportedly massive in size, moving silently across the sky, often seen near mountain ranges, oceans, and in rare cases, even tracked on radar. The object captured near the Orion Nebula bears a striking resemblance to these Earth-based sightings, raising provocative questions about the nature of the phenomenon. The astronomer, experienced in the art of astrophotography and no stranger to capturing distant galaxies and star clusters, immediately reported the incident to the Mutual UFO Network, one of the largest civilian organizations dedicated to the investigation of unidentified aerial phenomena. In his report, he expressed his astonishment at the sighting, noting that he had never encountered anything remotely like this in all his time scanning the night sky. What began as a routine imaging session became, in his words, an extraordinary experience that hinted at something far greater than he had ever anticipated. After submitting his images and observations to MUFON, discussions within the UFO community surged. Many pointed to the shape and orientation of the object as further validation of recurring patterns seen in historic sightings. Cigar-shaped UFOs have long been associated with advanced, possibly interstellar craft, believed by some to operate from high altitudes or in orbit around Earth. Some theorists even suggest these cylindrical craft could serve as motherships, large vessels that deploy smaller scout crafts, capable of navigating both planetary atmospheres and deep space. The possibility that such a craft might have been captured near the Orion Nebula one of the most active star-forming regions within our galactic neighborhood, is a theory that has inspired both wonder and speculation. The sequence of five frames showing additional movement also adds to the intrigue. If these objects were just imaging artifacts or cosmic debris, they would likely appear in predictable patterns or be present in all exposures, but the images clearly show differences in positioning and orientation from frame to frame, suggesting intentional movement. For seasoned astronomers, such behavior would be inconsistent with natural objects like asteroids, which follow calculated orbital paths, or with imaging errors, which tend to replicate consistently. Skeptics might argue that space debris, light reflections, or even camera anomalies could explain the sighting. However, the consistency in shape and the sequential movement of multiple objects captured independently from the initial sighting make this less likely. The amateur astronomer who captured the images has emphasized that he has years of experience and is well versed in differentiating between digital errors and legitimate astronomical data. To him, what was captured is not something easily dismissed. The Orion Nebula itself, with its dense concentrations of gas and dust, has long been the subject of speculative theories. Some believe that such regions, rich in the ingredients needed for star and planet formation, could also be sites of advanced activity perhaps even serving as points of interest for non-human civilizations. 
The idea that interstellar travelers might observe or even interact with young star systems has been suggested in both scientific thought and science fiction. If the cigar-shaped object observed in the images is truly of artificial origin, it raises profound questions about humanity's place in the universe and the possibility that we are not alone, even in our own corner of space. What makes this sighting particularly compelling is the combination of clear imagery, credible testimony, and the object's consistency with past accounts. Unlike blurry or shaky videos often associated with UFO sightings, the images captured by this amateur astronomer are crisp and methodically documented. The framing, the exposure times, and the follow-up sequence all demonstrate an organized approach to observation, lending further credibility to the discovery. As the images continue to be examined and debated, the astronomer has stated that he will not stop searching the skies. Encouraged by what he saw, he believes there are more discoveries to be made, hidden in the tapestry of stars and nebulae that stretch across the night sky. He continues to track the Orion region, hoping to capture further evidence that might explain what he saw, or perhaps reveal even more. Whether the object near the Orion Nebula turns out to be a genuine interstellar craft, or an as-yet unidentified astronomical phenomenon, its discovery has reignited interest in the search for extraterrestrial life and the mysteries that lie beyond our solar system. Scientists revealed that 29 intelligent alien civilizations may have already spotted us. A newly published study in the journal Nature has sparked intense interest across both the scientific community and the broader public by revealing that 29 intelligent alien civilizations may have already had the opportunity to observe Earth. This conclusion stems from detailed astronomical research, examining how certain planetary systems are aligned with Earth's orbit, offering them a direct line of sight to our planet. From such a privileged vantage point, extraterrestrial observers could not only spot Earth passing in front of the Sun, but also detect radio signals that humans have been transmitting into space for over a century. The study draws upon data gathered by the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite, launched in 2013. Gaia's primary mission is to map the precise positions, movements and characteristics of over a billion stars in our galaxy. With this wealth of data, researchers have been able to determine not only which stars currently have a line of sight to Earth, but also which ones have had that opportunity in the past, and which will in the future. By projecting the motions of these stars across a 10, 000 year timeline, scientists can assess how our planet may have been visible to other civilizations over millennia. Lead author Dr. Lisa Kaltenegger, director of the Carl Sagan Institute at Cornell University, partnered with Jackie Feherty of the American Museum of Natural History to analyze this data in unprecedented depth. Their findings suggest that over 2,000 stars located within 100 parsecs about 326 light-years, have either occupied, currently occupy, or will occupy positions from which they can observe Earth transiting the Sun. Among these, 1,400 stars have the capacity to observe Earth right now. Of those, 29 stars host planets that may have the technological capability to not only observe Earth's silhouette, but also detect its atmospheric composition and, potentially, its artificial radio emissions. The implications of this research are profound. If Earth is detectable from these planets, then civilizations living on those worlds may already be aware of us. Human technology has been broadcasting radio signals for more than a century, meaning that any civilization within 100 light-years could have intercepted these signals. Given the alignment of these star systems, scientists now speculate that intelligent life on these planets, if it exists, could have identified Earth as a biologically active world and begun studying us just as we study distant exoplanets. The area of interest here is called the Earth Transit Zone. This zone represents the narrow band in space from which an observer could see Earth pass directly in front of the Sun, similar to how astronomers on Earth detect exoplanets through the transit method. This technique, which involves measuring the slight dip in a star's brightness as a planet crosses its face, has been used to discover the vast majority of the more than 4,400 confirmed exoplanets. However, Earth's transits are rare and only visible from specific vantage points in space. Vantage points that, according to this study, are currently or have recently been occupied by numerous star systems. What adds an even more intriguing layer to this finding is that many of the stars identified in the study are known to host exoplanets. 
Some of these planets are located within their star's habitable zones where conditions could support liquid water and possibly life. The possibility that intelligent civilizations on those planets may be scanning their skies and noticing the same transit signals we use is tantalizing. Dr. Kaltenegger emphasizes that the universe is not static. Stars move, shift, and drift across the galaxy, meaning that our planet's visibility to observers in other star systems is constantly changing. Some stars only get a brief window to see Earth's transit, while others have the chance to observe us for a thousand years or more. This temporal element introduces the idea that civilizations may have noticed us at different points in human history, from the time of ancient civilizations 5,000 years ago to the present day, and possibly even into the future. The study also provides guidance for future searches for extraterrestrial life. By identifying the star systems with the best chance of having observed Earth, astronomers now have a high-priority list of targets for further investigation. These targets are especially promising because any civilizations on planets within these systems would have had a clear reason to focus their attention on Earth, given its potential signs of habitability. The paper also highlights the importance of the ecliptic plane, the flat region of space aligned with Earth's orbit. This area has traditionally been overlooked in exoplanet searches because it is densely packed with background stars, making it more challenging to isolate planetary signals. However, because stars within the ecliptic are uniquely positioned to see Earth's transit, Dr. Kaltenegger argues that they deserve renewed attention. Another essential aspect of this research is the integration of data from multiple space missions. While the Gaia mission provides accurate positional data of stars, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite and the now-retired Kepler mission have contributed immensely to the discovery of exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched with the goal of analyzing the atmospheres of distant planets, could be used to observe the exoplanets found in these strategic systems, furthering our understanding of their potential to support life.